All right, we're back. If you guys don't know who this is, this is Nikki. This is my wifey, and she's a beginner rider. And this is Still. a day of firsts for you. This is my first time riding out of town. This is my first time in a group ride. This is my first time riding for this long of a ride. <laughs> so it's a lot of firsts for me today. I'm excited. Everything's going smoothly. Um, I am riding my own ride and I finally know what that means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to get in front so I can, I can make decisions for us? Sure. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna swing up here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of roll back a little bit. So roll off and I'm gonna switch over to here. You could be in lane position too, if you want. Okay. Um, unless you're comfortable passing, I wouldn't. So how comfortable do you feel like you're gonna pass? Um, I feel okay if we got a big space. So this, this uh, Toyota Prius just gave them a huge space. So more than likely what we're gonna do is we're gonna share the lane with them. If you want to get the opposite lane, perfectly fine. But we'll, we'll pass kind of creeping out, but only do it in an area where it's safe. So anyways. Like after the hill. Yeah, after the hill. Right now it's not safe. Um, so our group's up ahead. They understand. They're all on comms. They understand that we're, we're back here and we're, we're doing our own thing. So we know where we're going. So that's one of those big things where people panic and it feels like they have to pass these vehicles to get to them. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do that. We can just, we know where we're going. I got, I got GPS. I got maps and everything towards the house. So we're good. I, as it is, whenever I am in a car, I don't even pass people. It's uncomfortable. So I do only do it if I know I can make it. Yeah. So right here, it looks like it's a blind turn still. But this Prius is wanting us to, to pass. You see how he's doing yes, that? Yes, I see that. But I got in trouble for that on Mount Lemon, so. For the double line? So now it's yeah. a passing line. Yeah, but it's just not safe. I We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Because that's another thing that I, I talk, talked about on the way up here is that if you have a vehicle up front, they're kind of setting the pace. It's perfectly fine. So anyways, this this video is about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I think I, when, I, when we... Okay, let's start here. My worries before I started this ride, okay? Okay. Were number one riding with other people that is not you and that is not me. Yeah. I didn't know how they were gonna ride. I've never ridden with them. I'm pretty sure they're safe, but I don't know their signals. I don't know how fast they stop. I don't, I, that just all scared me. All of that was in my head, but I'm like, I need to do it. I have to do it. It's time for me to do it. I'm ready, I can. So I was like, all right, we're cool. We woke up the next freaking morning today and it was windy. Yeah. So much Good. wind blowing. And other than the fact that there's that wind blow that you know where you have to stick out your leg and that type of stuff that can be scary i was more scared of the weather yeah. and how cold it could get because you and i have experience on that already when i rode in the cold when i was first practicing and my body just tensed up really bad yeah because it was so cold so this morning when i saw that it was super Both hands. yeah this morning when i saw that it was super windy I pulled out all my warm, my cold clothes. <laughs> I had three layers of clothes on during the ride and my big socks for hiking. And I had to get closer. And I had a, I brought some fingerless gloves to go over these gloves because these gloves that I'm wearing are summer ones. They're not winter gloves. But I came prepared and it wasn't that bad. No, no. So did you use those gloves? The no, fingerless? Okay. I didn't need to. That's nice. Right. Oh yeah, and I have my warm leggings underneath. Yeah, yeah, those pants are doing really well. There are some people asking about uh, the kind of pants you got. And it's like the Bullet Fury. Fury. Uh -huh, something. Yeah, yeah oh. they're good pants. I love them. I, they're super stretchy. They fit perfectly on my knees. They fit perfectly on my ankles. They don't go over my feet. The only issue I have, which is my issue because I'm short, yeah. is that they are very high-waisted above my belly button <laughs> <laughs> like when I was trying to put stuff in my back pocket I have to like reach really high and lift up my shirt to put stuff in my back pocket <laughs> oh yeah I forgot yeah well that could be good because now you're not sitting on stuff when you're riding it's That's like on, it's on your lower back <laughs> it's like a back fanny panty <laughs> yeah oh my gosh one thing that that I remember from when I first started riding like my first out-of-town ride was with Matt and we went to San Diego so I was like 
three hours. I just remember my hands getting numb. I remember getting tired, like my back was hurting, like really quick. And then the more I've been doing out of town rides or just longer rides, I've not been, you know, my back doesn't hurt, all these different things. And I realized it's because I was all tense. Yeah, my back is hurting right now, my left side. My hand hasn't gotten numb yet, my back definitely. And I know it has to be because I am tense. Yeah. Because it's, I'm trying to focus. But, you know, I'll loosen up. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it. But yeah, my back is hurting right now. I took some ibuprofen. <laughs> yeah, so don't worry. If, yeah, if you have to do it. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're a lot more loose up top, you'll, you'll last a lot longer. But it just, eh, it's just something you deal with and you get over. Now that we're on our way back, you said we can look at the view because we'll be going down. And I wasn't, yeah. on the way up here, I was just so focused on staying in the lane, staying in position one, two, whatever I was in, and keeping up with the group, that yeah. I did not want to take a look at the beautiful view there is on the way here. Yeah, but, so but for now, everyone, go ahead. No, see, but now I know how the road is. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad, it's very nice. Yeah, even if you don't know what the road is, like, like there's a lot of times where, like when you go up Mount Lemon, you're, you're not gonna know what the road is, but you're still gonna enjoy the view because you've got more experience. So you're not looking down. You're not looking down at your controls anymore because you've, you've gotten to a point where you don't have to. So now you're focused on the hazards. And since you're looking up, like right now, you can look at this beautiful view instead of looking down, like, okay, I got a downshift. So you start to enjoy it more when you get more experience. So for everyone else like that's freaking out, like, oh, this riding out of town sucks and you've only been riding for a little bit, it's like build up your skills so that you can actually just kind of watch and look around without having to deal with, like, how do I shift again? What do I do for braking? You kind of do it naturally. Yeah. So remember, just like this one, on the way back or on the way over here, we were like, what do we do? And at the end of the day, just uh, flip that lid up you're going slow anyways flip that lid, uh, lid up and then answer their questions and most of the time they just let you through because we're all motorcycling motorcyclings yeah but this is where you practice your slow speed so like right here when they're stopping people i like to like stop behind like way ahead or right way behind and just kind of practice my slow speed until i have to get over all right so i'm going to creep up and these little bumps just go over nice and straight very good I need to fix one of these. Yeah. How you doing, guys? Thank you. Dude said be Thank safe. Thank you. Very good. So yeah, you've had a bunch of firsts today. So are they taking? Are they pulling off? Yeah, they're pulling off for us. Okay, so I'm gonna pass. So they're taking off. So we're gonna slow it down so we can give them that gap. Perfect. See, that's why I like this crew. I know. That was nice. Oh, I need to put my helmet down. Yeah, that's fine. No, this is, that's, that's, that's nice. So now you can get it back up front if you want. So we switched because I was, I was worried that you wouldn't be able to focus on the hazards. So now that we kind of have an idea of who's up front with us, we got to speed up though. So yeah, a bunch of firsts. You got uh, your first out of town ride, first group ride, first ride over like 45 minutes long. And my first ride ever going through border point, border checkpoint, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, bu first bug to the face. First bug to my face, first bug on my phone. On your phone. I Speaking didn't, of, I didn't yeah, freak out as bad as I thought I was gonna do if a bug Yeah. Because when, yeah. when a bird hits my windshield, I like, Oh, ah! that's, that's different. A bird to your face is a lot different than a bug to your face. So uh, one thing that we were talking about uh, before the audio and all that stuff cut off on the first part is that like on this part we're so now we're getting to more of the uh, the turning portion. So remember, if it says to lower your speed, like it's a it's a 45 mile road, so let's say it's 30 miles for these turns. Now let's lower the speed because that's what these turns are rated for. But I have my phone out right here, and this is what I use my phone, guys. This is what I use my phone for. I use maps, and, and it's easy that way. If somebody's calling me, I know if I can reject it or not. So. What I do with the maps is that I'm talking to her, saying, hey, there's a turn that's coming up that's left, it's gonna be a straightaway now, and then get ready for a turn that's gonna be to the right. So this is kind of like easing her tension, especially on these first times. So next time we do this, I probably don't have to, but 
I know my wife, she likes it. So. I do. So you don't have to, but that's what I like about having this. So a lot of people are saying, oh man, having a, it's distraction. But it's not. if you if you kind of look at it, it's like almost like playing a video game where you're on a racetrack in a video game. You're like, okay, I got a turn coming up that's left. Cool, I'm prepped for it. So for this one, we have a turn that's going right and it's gonna kind of curve to the left a little bit and then curve to the right again. So this is a switchback type turn. So kind of get ready for that, stay in position two. You see how the wind is moving these plants to the uh, from left to right? Right. So you, you might have to put your left leg out or lean a little bit more to the left on these these turns. So just a little heads up for that. And it also says watch for animals. We already talked about that. There's really nothing we can do if an animal jumps out. So don't worry about it too much. We've seen a lot of dead ones on the side of the road on our way up here too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, right here it says it's the little squiggles next three miles. So that's what I'm looking at. So it's gonna be a left and then it's gonna be a right and a left and then a, a sharper right. So it says motorcycles even, it says motorcycles use caution next quarter mile. So on this one, we're going downhill. So remember, since we're going downhill, it's very easy to, to get a high rate of speed. So we're going about 60. And it says right here, this is a 45 uh, recommended road. So that's why they have these braille marks in the road to slow you down, to remind you with tactile to slow down. So go ahead and slow down, slow look, press and roll. And once you feel comfortable, Go ahead. So you see the dark area? I like to stay off to the right, a little bit of that dark, there you go, perfect. Okay. That dark area is, is uh, worn down and a little bit slippery. So on this one, get to the left area. There you go, there you go. Don't look at the ground, look forward. Look for that next turn, perfect. So this is also a 45, recommended. So use that upper body. Turn that upper body, give it a little bit of throttle. We're going uphill also, so we're gonna have to give it a little bit of throttle to maintain our turn. This is a very good practice for Mount Lemon. So this is very good practice for your first mountain riding. These, this is hill riding, we're riding on hills. Yeah, I know, I'm like, woo! <laughs> yeah, and, and if for any reason, like he's, this guy's having fun. So for any reason, you feel like, oh, tense, tense, I'm tense, 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 slow it down. That's going to give you better vision and then more reaction time so that you're not as tense. Right. So once you feel comfortable, yeah, do the speed limit or maybe a little bit more. But if you don't feel comfortable, don't. So this is going to be a sharp turn to the left. Okay. And then it's going to be a straightaway. So it says 45 miles an hour and it looks like it's banked in our way. So it's going to be an easier turn, but still give it that upper body. And it's a blind turn, so stay in lane position two. Perfect, so push that upper body, push on that, there you go, handlebars, there you go. And we're still downhill, so it's very easy to maintain throttle pressure. Very good. All right. <laughs> a you lot know? of people, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, man, shut the <laughs> No, <laughs> like, I, shut up. I let you say things and I focus on what I need to focus on. And your little things are good reminders. Your little things are good reminders of what I need to do. Yeah. It's so just it's in the a, back of my head. It's, I, a right, what? What? it's a right hand turn and then it's gonna be a left hand. Hey, what so did I this, tell you the other day? Woo! Bump. Yep. That's fine. Was that you're like an audiobook when you talk to me. <laughs> just have you just have like an audiobook in my in the background while I'm working or while I'm driving a car or I'm riding this bike. I'm just you're just like an audio book. So, Slow it down a little bit. Okay. You, you picked up the speed. Okay. There you go. So on these straightaways, go ahead and accelerate, but you were accelerating during the turn. Okay. So some, since we're going downhill, sometimes you have to kind of roll off the throttle just a little bit, and you'll still maintain a good 45 miles an hour. But if you maintain that throttle pressure at, let's say, 45% or 40%, going downhill, it's going to keep increasing, increasing your speed. Yeah, I got to pay attention to that more. Yeah. That's fine, that's what I'm saying, yeah. it's good practice. All right, so see that junction, it says junction, but there's also a turn offs here, so kind of watch out for people. So we got a long straightaway, we're good. Cool. Yeah, I don't mind you, I don't mind you sitting there and telling me what I should, shouldn't be doing when I'm riding. Like I said, you're just an audiobook. it helps me, like you're calming me down, relaxing me. Yeah, I'm glad, and you're you're the type of person that will listen to me. So, <laughs> well, right, you so haven't we gotta, you haven't steered me wrong yet. No, we 
we got a, a very easy turns left right left right so but it's blind so if you feel uncomfortable slow it down okay. but you see how that so we have a, a junction so we got that right. t intersection so kind of be aware of that all right very good 45 yeah it's recommended 45 for a reason very good very good so it's gonna be a turn to the left and then it's gonna be a turn to the right it's gonna be a slight straight. So this one's a sharp turn, so you want to slow it down a little I bit. So slow look, up. press and roll. Yep. And when you start seeing guardrails getting smashed in, that means other people aren't paying attention. So it's very it's a very real possibility of, of something happening. So that's why we gotta pay extra careful attention to stuff. Extra careful All right. attention. To stuff. So it's gonna be a right and then it's gonna be a long sweeping left. Alrighty. So we could slow down before this turn. So we sped up during the, the straightaway, which is perfect. And then now before the turn, we kind of slowed down a little bit. And we're riding our own ride. Yep. They gone. <laughs> they, they gone. They gone. And you let them. We know where we're going. We talked about where we're going at that uh, gas station. And th at the end of the day, that's all we need. And if I was up front and like I'm waiting for like us two, I'd give us like 20 minutes. Or I'd pull over like they did last time and just let us come back to them. But you really don't want to mess around too much and like haul ass and then leave your buddies behind. Yeah, which that's not what they're doing. No. So this is going to be a right and then it's going to be a left and then a nice sweeping right again. So you're doing great. Isn't it beautiful to have a comm system? Oh my gosh! How did people do it in the Stone Ages? The Stone Age? They didn't have motorcycles in the Stone Age. This is a 45 or a 40 mile turn to the left, so it kind of slowed down a little bit. It's probably because of the intersection. But yeah, it's great, huh? Oh my gosh! It's like you're yeah. sitting and guessing when you don't have the comm system. Yeah. Like, did did he tell me to turn right? Are we going that way? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it's just more efficient when it comes to like you and me because like I could be riding with you and then after the ride I have to be like, alright, so remember at the spot where you were turning, yeah, you should have slowed down. You'd be like, what? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like here, I can walk you through and talk you through play by play and there's no real waiting involved when it comes to that. No, I'm learning on the go. Exactly what it is. I... I don't know. I don't know what I. I don't know if I'd learn as well without comms. <laughs> I know how you learn. I learn. Yeah. This, this is, is a. This is gonna be an easy straight. So I think I'm pretty good for the turns now. Okay. I'm gonna speed it up. I'm gonna pick up the speed. It's up. It, it's fine. It's fine. We're going. We're going pretty good. There's no reason unless you want to, but this is a blind crest. You see how you can't see all the way around? I see you raining. Yeah. No, it's beautiful to have like a, a crew like this that are like very nice, easy going, and they understand what we're doing, you yeah, know? Yeah, of course. They're really, I mean, we all, uh, we set it up for them in the beginning when we all first met up and said, look, this is my first one. We're going to be in the back. If you lose us, don't worry. If we pull over, don't worry. Because we're going to take it nice and slow. And they're doing, doing really great as a crew. Yeah, yeah. Oh my it's gosh. Awesome. So if you guys are ever local to, to Tucson or Phoenix and we have some of these things planned, because we've had this planned for about two weeks now. Um, swing up by the Discord and let us know you're in Arizona and we'll get you into the group and then we'll get things situated. All bikes will do. All bikes. <laughs> yeah, we got we got adventure bike, two FCO, we have an FCO7, FCO9, I believe. Probably FCO7, I think. Yeah, FCO7. Cruiser. We got two cruisers. We got my bike. We got a bunch of stuff. They slow down for us. It's yeah. nice. Cool. But, yeah, we're we're almost back. So how was your uh, first out of town ride? I love it. I love it. 
love it. I think it, I think as a first out of town ride, this road was perfect. This yeah. has boosted my confidence enough to be like, okay, I, I think it's time to take on Mount Lemon. Because as we were turning, you were like, you were telling me those are the basic turns that are on Mount yeah. Lemon as it is. You're yeah, like, those turns we just did are, are pretty much Mount Lemon because Mount Lemon, it's rated at 35. So you're taking the turns at 35. They're sharper, but they're easy because you're going 35. So yeah. just do the speed limit. Like that's what a lot of people don't realize. It's like, I gotta go fast because I'm on a motorcycle. And when you're on a motorcycle, it feels slow. And like, if you're going 35, you're like, ah, this is slow. And it's like, well, that's what the road's rated for. If you want to be safe about it, let's do 35. Well, we can easily do it at 50. Like if you have a little bit of skill, but if something happens, and there's rocks in the road, there's cars stop, you're kind of shit out of luck. Right. You're going faster than what it's rated for. It's like outrunning your tires rating. Your tires are rated for a certain speed, and you're out here gunning it and hauling ass. It's gonna blow. It might not blow the first couple dozen times you do it, but you're gonna wear your tires out. And then that one time, you're gonna be a shit out of luck. Same thing with going up Mount Lemon. Shoot, you've been doing it 20 times, you're going 50 that one time. All it takes. All so. I think is if you go too fast, you're not gonna have time to get out of the way for whatever has. Oh yeah, that's Definitely. what scares me. I'm like, oi. Yeah. So until you get your skills up, how about we just go slow? Yep. And, and and everyone's like, why are you going slow? It's like, well, I mean, slow as in it's 55 mile hour road. Let's go 50 or 55. Let's go speed limit slow. <laughs> yeah. Because people tend to go like, hey, you know, it's 55. Let's go 65. And it's like, I feel comfortable at 65. It's like, that's great. But if you don't feel comfortable with your skills yet, let's just do the speed limit here. Yeah. Or a little bit slower. Got it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I was going to say, and that's... I forgot what I was going to say now. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're almost home. Um, kind of. But we've been talking for a little bit. We're just kind of sharing our experience. Guys, if you want me to start doing videos like this, Nikki's at home more often now. So we can actually go for short rides, long rides, talk about different things. She's my guinea pig, so when we do anything like training, uh, definitely bring her along so she gets her experience back up. Slowing down? Yeah, because I was catching up to her. Okay. And uh, so yeah, that's what we plan on doing. So if you'd like to see more of that stuff, I really would like to do one video a week at least. But we have Nikki's Adventures channel. So you guys want to swing on by Nikki's Adventures channel. And, subscribe because we're gonna start putting more stuff out yeah Probably for now do. all that's on there is just beer <laughs> yeah 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 right now it's just beer but we're gonna do more we're gonna hike we're gonna do some cool stuff and share some more of the personal stuff on the nikki's adventures channel so we're gonna film probably tomorrow a little bit hiking Yay. So. i love going hiking yeah all right say bye all right see you later guys bye -o.